Some of the world's top universities have stopped working with Huawei on research and development, at least for now. They did it because the US government threatened to withdraw federal funding if they kept working with us. Washington warned the universities that Huawei just wanted to steal their intellectual property. Some universities bowed to the pressure, but they weren't happy about it. The founder of MIT's Media Lab said Huawei was its most advanced research partner. The University of California at Berkeley said Haltian's collaboration with Huawei did a disservice to academic researchers. They're right, and the US government is wrong. Here's why. Each year, Huawei funds $300 million worth of R&D projects at 1,200 universities and research institutes around the world. We do it because if we can help researchers answer unsolved questions, we can better provide technology to our customers. For a half a century, the tech industry has lifted productivity and fueled economic growth in much of the world. But a lot of today's technology relies on theories that are decades old. If technology stalls out, so will economic growth. To keep that from happening, we have to look for new breakthroughs in areas such as quantum computing and DNA data storage. Supporting university research is just one way to help make those breakthroughs happen. Universities have worked with the private sector for decades. They have well-established mechanisms for co-developing intellectual property. Ownership terms are clearly spelled out in legal contracts. If research produces technology that Huawei can use in a commercial product, we pay the university a royalty. Anyone who says joint R&D is a way to steal ideas from unsuspecting scientists is either misinformed or being disingenuous. Huawei has always been focused on R&D. It's a part of who we are. We employ about 80,000 research staff at R&D labs around the world. As for intellectual property, we hold over 85,000 patents. Huawei creates plenty of its own intellectual property. We don't need to steal anyone else's. Trying to keep us from working with universities won't accomplish anything. It'll just slow down the scientists whose work might otherwise benefit millions of people. A parting thought. Back in 1999, the US government was worried that Japan was challenging its dominance in technology. Congress even held hearings on this. At one of these hearings, an MIT economist was asked, how should America respond to R&D spending by Japan and other countries? The economist replied, the first thing we should do is send them a thank you letter. Innovative investment is not a win-lose situation. American consumers are going to benefit from more investment by other countries. It is a race we all can win. We couldn't have said it better. That's why we plan to keep working with our university partners on collaborative research. As those partnerships bear fruit, the benefits of our approach will become clear. And who knows, one day, Washington might even thank us.